Hello again, viewers, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, Oracle Ages. I am your grad through the Brenner, Billy Weaver. When we last left off on our journey, we began preparations to head to the Crescent Island, met a new animal companion, Moosh, whose floating ability proved useful to us, and retrieved the shovel rope necessary to build our raft. Um, now as you can see, I've gone ahead and off-screened back to Rafton's house in the past. Um, there's really nothing of importance between getting the rope and getting here other than Moosh just saying, Oh, you found what you were looking for. I'm heading out now. Um, and as a quick reminder, Rafton's house is just a couple squares south of Black Tower. So now let's go ahead and head on in and give him the shovel rope. And he's rather happy because now he can make his raft. Of course we'll give it to you. We kind of need that raft for our own purposes. He's gonna let us ride it when it's done, but we have another quest to do. Have to go get a chart so we can find out where we're going on the wide ocean. So, let's go ahead and try and figure out where we can do that. Oh! Hi Ralph, you're gonna give us another helpful hint again? Well, if it isn't Weaver. Dawdling about as usual. What are you doing? Huh? You need an island chart? I've heard that weird guy has sea charts to the secret owl. Do you know what you want? I'm too busy trying to save Nehru to help you. See ya! Hey, it's not like we're not trying to save Nehru too, you jerk. Well... That's a pretty vague hint he gives, and unless you've been exploring quite a bit of the world map, you may not get who he's talking about. Thankfully, I do know, and uh, I will tell you, he is back in the present, so apologize for cutting, but I will meet you back there. Alright, we're back. Okay, so heading out from Luna City, the uh, place we want to go is southeast of here, so let's go ahead and head on that way. Um, basically, for another point of reference, we're going to be wanting to go a little south of the old graveyard. But, hmm, what's this? Ah, seems this fellow's name is Ricky, and he has the useful ability of uh, being able to jump over cliffs and holes, but he has a bit of a problem, because he lost his gloves. Aww. Well, he says he left them by a tree on the beach, but maybe we can find them for him, so let's do that. Maybe his jumping ability will turn out to be handy to us. And indeed it will be, uh, as you can see there's a wee rather weird looking guy up there. Might just be the one we're looking for. So to get to the beach from here, you want to just jump over this gap, and now we're on the beach, and the tree he's talking about is right over here. Um, you just want to take out your shovel and dig. Unfortunately, it's... I tend to find it's a little bit randomized, but generally you're going to find the gloves right more in the uh, top right corner here. So we have those, and we can take them back and see if Ricky might be willing to help us. Yeah. Oh, really cool. Right. Here you are, Ricky. Oh, and he's very happy. So now he'll help us out. We hop into it. Yeah. So on top of having his jump, he also has a uh, punching ability with A, and if you hold it, he does a tornado punch, rather like this. So very useful. Yeah, Ricky's pretty awesome. And I'll explain again that he can jump over the cliffs by just uh, moving in the direction that you're trying to go. And he can jump over the holes too. So now, thanks to Ricky, we should be able to get up here. You just want to hit B to uh, get out of him. So let's see. In order 
talk to this guy. It looks like we're going to need to bring him down to our size. So let's just jump and pop his balloon. And there's a, uh, another dear staple of the Zelda series. Our resident fairy-loving weirdo, Tingle. And since we have the clothing of a fairy, he wants to be our friend. And since we're our, his friend, he will give us free stuff, like the sea chart that we need. Well, island chart, technically. So that's pretty nice. Let's go see. Something good may happen. Hmm. Keep that in mind for later. Tingle, tingle, kululimpa. Yes, yes, your magic words that you created yourself. And since we found what we're looking for, Ricky is also going to be uh, heading out because he's not a huge fan of Tingle. Can't say I am either. So, yeah, I think we're just going to follow Ricky out of here. I'll uh, go ahead and meet you guys back um, outside of Rafton's house again so we can deliver the island chart. Alright, we're back, so let's go ahead and show him our ruin chart. And now that we've got that, uh, he says that the raft is ready, we can go ahead and head out here and hop on. Yes, unfortunately, even though we have the Zora's flippers, we can't swim in this deeper water. And do watch out for those whirlpools there, you will take damage. So, let's see, just want to kind of follow along the uh, path here. Uh, remember that pirate ship we saw for later, too? We can't do anything about him yet. Uh, want to head north here, and just keep heading north. Uh, if you head east, you'll see the island, but unfortunately you cannot access the island from there. Uh oh. Ominous music. Looks like there's a storm brewing. Well, sea's not the best place to uh, be then. Uh oh, flying monkeys. What is this? Wizard of Oz? What? Where'd our items go? Oh. They stole our items. I have to try and chase them down. See him up there, can't get him. But we can put our shovel back from this guy. Yeah, all you have to do is talk to the guys that have your items and they'll be like, oh, I, uh, I didn't know this was yours, I'll give this back to you. And just say that the other toke have them. Yes, the creatures here are toke, and this is in fact Crescent Island where we need to be heading. Mm. But unfortunately, like I said, we kind of have to get our stuff back now. Man, they're just cramming a lot of side quests in. Oh, uh, one other thing, these little sprouts here, you can push them, and, uh, if you push them, they'll actually stay, and if you put them in the little gaps here, uh, if we ever can get back to the present, something good will happen. So just keep that in mind. You are going to want to keep put this one right there for later. Let's go ahead and head in this cave here. Hmm. Looks like there's our sword over there. Let's see if we can't get that. Now that we have our shovel, we can clear our path to try and get over to him. Let's push the block out of the way there. And we can retrieve our shovel. Or, not our shovel, our sword. <laughs> And now we have the sword back, so at least we can defend ourselves now. Oh, nice thing too, the sword can break through these little crystals here. Alright, so now that we have our shovel and sword, we can go ahead and head on up here and see what else we can find. Hmm. So Toke over there doesn't have anything, but might be important. Put down here. Yeah, see, that's why we need the sword, is otherwise we can't get past the bushes there. Uh, this business 
scrub there will sell you a shield for 50 rupees. I don't personally think it's worth it. Yeah, unfortunately your shield is also taken too and you do not get it back, so... I guess if you do really want a shield, you can go ahead and get one from him. Alright. So we have another one of the little sprouts here, and this one we're gonna wanna push up... Well... After we kill that guy. To this corner here. Again, for later. rock there. Can't do anything with that. We can't do anything in here either, fortunately. Yeah, makes you appreciate how useful those items are. Nothing in that house for us quite yet. Right, you can see there's a little bumble place. We don't have our bombs right now. We had up here. Oh! Our rocks feather and our fire bracelet. Nice. But, unfortunately, this is a trade hut, and he wants things for us. He wants to pay him to get our stuff back. Good one. But he will trade uh, the shovel to get uh, some of the other items. And so that's useful. However, we don't want the rocks feather. We actually want to start out grabbing the uh, fire bracelet. And he does mention something there about scent seed, but we don't have scent seeds. Hmm. Well, now that we have the power bracelet, we can go ahead and access a couple more things. Uh, First place we want to go actually is the stairwell over here. Because if we go down these steps, we have a little passageway here. And it'll take us into. This is the hut that's actually um, sitting out on the beach. And if we come in here, we get our bombs back. So that's very nice. We can go ahead and use our bombs for your placement just right. To blow up these two cracked ones and get the treasure chest with a gash of seed. You're just raking those gash of seeds in. Get the power bracelet back out. And now we can go ahead and come over here too, since we have the power bracelet. Get away from me. And we can bomb this little crack here, too. However, we can't do anything with this quite yet. As you see, we need either our Zora Flippers, which that Toka has, or the uh, Rats Feathers, so we're gonna wanna save this for a little bit, but now that we have it opened, it will be accessible to us. Yeah. One thing I had forgotten to mention is if you pick up boulders, you can throw them uh, onto enemies. Same with pots. It can be useful. Now, now let's see. There's one other spot that we could bomb. It's right up here. Let's see what's in here. Oh. It's a game room. The prize is a scent seedling. Hmm. Well, we need scent seeds to get all of our items back, so maybe we should play this game. But I think we're gonna save this for next time. <laughs> so until then, this is Illy Weaver signing off. See you guys later.